<lacht> so, hello. Hi. Hey. Ja, uh, we, today we want to um, present uh, the uh, status of the tender of a, a membership application tool um, and the reasons behind the tender. And yeah. So uh, the, yeah. the basics was <clears throat> the basis was uh, the MC has a well-defined process uh, for application for new members or reapplications of members, uh, and the tooling was uh, set up quickly uh, in the early the, days. In the early days of the foundation, and uh, keep kept persistent uh, because uh, nothing is as durable as a provisory. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, uh, but it, it reached a point where we, we honestly thought about a new solution. And so uh, um, we uh, designed a new application, a web application. Uh, which a specification will, a specific, for, for wrote, the tender. Wrote a, wrote a specification, made a tender. And uh, by now, today, half an hour ago, I got an email from a developer. Uh, that we can show something here. <laughs> <laughs> just so, in time. <laughs> just in time. And uh, we want to say some, uh, also some sentences on what, what this changes for you. And if there is time enough, we will talk also about tendering a little bit, but uh, that's not that important. Yeah. So let's start with the process used by the MC. As you can see here now, uh, whole thing starts with an email for members which are about to expire yeah, yeah. if you are already a member if you are already a member if you not you have to go to uh, some web page um, and fill out a form and in the end we get an email <laughs> and yes in, in the end you answer on the on the reminder email or you go to that web page you see the link here this is the actual web page but in both cases at the end we end up the MC ends up with an email. And uh, could you please describe your, your specialist for the script? Uh, yeah, we have um, basically uh, the tooling is a set of bash scripts um, with text files which um, get modified by the script. Uh, in Git, um, and the voting happens in Garrett. So um, we have the the basically the problem yeah. that not everybody is able to handle the bash scripts. The setup is not that easy. Um, yeah. At first, the first problem is you have to copy, to paste and copy the emails into a text form. No. To integrate it in the in the in the, in the Git. You have to make a git uh, it's, yes, you, you have to clone the git. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, of course. You have, you have to make this text, this text batches out from the email. This isn't automatic, no, is it? No, in Garrett, you um, so everybody you get an email, it's the, um, mostly um, uh, somebody uh, is. Um, sending the, um, the, the patch to Garrett and the, oh. Yeah. Um, we are frozen. <laughs> um, um, okay. Yeah. But we can't. Uh, yes, no, we can't yeah. 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 <laughs> we save us that picture. Uh, so, uh, so, so we, we have that um, Garrett patch and um, then we can vote and so uh, that nobody, not that everybody has to search what the person had written in that um, yeah, yeah, mail yeah. or in the form. Somebody has to put that yeah. content in the Garrett patch, and most likely we yeah. um, try to search for more information if it's not a well known person for everybody or. An, um, um, if you're provide, a member, uh, member of a body, that's that's quite easy. Yes. Just or if them. you simply post a um, link, if you're a developer to Garrett, uh, hey, these are my, my change sets. Um, then it's 
really easy for us. Yeah. So we have only yeah. to put the link in the Gavit and everybody some, can verify that this person did something useful. <laughs> but some people tend to answer on this reminder mail. Yes, I want to refresh my uh, membership. Yeah. And that's all. And so the or, research, or, research or, from our side starts if he has made some contributions and uh, if, he, if he can accept it. Or for example, uh, yeah, I translated uh, as every year yeah. um, the application and okay, what was the use, the name of that user? And yeah. let us look up some uh, old contributions. Uh, no, uh, so, um, the old Garrett from the last year. May, hopefully we posted the link there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is this is a lot of manual work at, at last, and so uh, <laughs> after this is done, we decide to to accept or to to deny those applications, and then the applicant gets a mail of the result. This is the process by now, and to to get this process, uh, this is the tooling described: Git and Garrett, uh, and Bash scripts, which just preferably work on Linux, yep. but not on on Microsoft. At and least as, out of the box. And maybe. you said not any, not every member. I, I only knew two members, maybe three, who are able to handle it. Yeah, maybe even four. Okay, but maybe. but it needs oh, time to. What was it? I yeah. did it ages ago, for example. So this was this was the starting point, and so we we uh, we started to develop an idea. Um. We have to say in the beginning of a document foundation, um, most members of a membership committee were developers. Yep. So they yep. know how to handle and set up the base scripts, how to clone Garrett, um, and how to yeah, use that. And mostly every dev is, uh, at least in our community, a Linux dev, uh, yep. um, Linux uh, user. So that was not a problem at that time. Nowadays yeah. we have it was quite normal for them to yes. use those tools. Yeah. We have marketing guys. We have um, only translation of uh, um, event organizers, and now we have the problem that only a few are able to handle the scripts, and that plus it's really really much manual work it's in manual. the end. It's, it's really if, even if you can handle these, yeah. it's a lot of manual work. See, at, just at the moment, we got a lot of mails back, yeah. which are rejected from our mail server because of some, I don't know why. Uh, bad configuration. Bad configuration. Of, not of the mail server, but no. of the scripts. We have to change the script again and again. No, is, no? it's just configuration. Oh, OK. Yeah, but, but doesn't help. If it's <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help. They come back. Yeah. OK. <laughs> so uh, so this this is one one thing is to, to make handling easier. The other thing is. Uh, uh, some years after the GDPR, we have some concerns with that because if you use a, a Git repository, you distribute all the personal data all over the world. And this is not what we want to do anymore. So we love to have... Uh, Basically, we are not allowed uh, uh, in certain ways. You have to do a lot of paperwork to, to make it possible, yeah, okay. let's, say, <laughs> let's say this way. And so uh, um, we, we prefer a centralized... Uh, Solution with with clear access rules, and uh, also it is uh, you know Git is made made and constructed to never lose something, and not really useful for is, for discussion. Really, this is really hard to delete outdated yeah. records out of, of out of a Git record. So I will not say it is impossible. There are ways to do so. But uh, it is really complicated, and you you lose your comments in the Garrett, uh, and this is also basically for our work to have those those Garrett commands uh, related to those Git entries. So uh, we designed a web application with a, with a small database on it uh, in its back, and so uh, <coughs> we wrote a tender on this. We had a tender process and decided. Um, yeah. to, uh, to to have a community member Marco, yeah, oh. uh, to develop to to make the development, and uh, no, this oh. is uh, the full end. Yeah, yes, it's the, the next one. We can have a look at it. What Marco just wrote. Oh, oh. I got that. Uh, I just I just go I just leave the uh, presentation.
and uh, a live demo. Make a live demo. So this is this will be the new application web page. Uh, the design what, might be the updated. The design might be updated. Um, this is the page you get if you are not a member. Uh, where does it know if you are a member or not? It's quite easy. It will be behind the single sign-on of the TDF. Uh, we had a long discussion in, in the beginning of this process. Um, I, I didn't like it to have it like this because it is a, it is a restriction of access to to uh, uh, to apply on but the other hand basically you need for everything nowadays uh, yeah. a single sign on so if you if you really contributed to a libre office it's, it will be really hard to avoid to have a single sign on because nearly every resource of the tdf you want to use is is, uh, is is protected by this single sign-on so it's most probably you have one so it is it, it, it isn't that hard uh, to sign on uh, with this single sign-on account and it has a lot of uh, advantages one of the advantages it's it protects us from spam on this page of course uh, and the second advantage is this this page normally will be pre-filled with your data um, you see an empty page. I said this is a new application. Okay, there is nothing to prefer because you are not a member now. <laughs> uh, so uh, some some someone we want to to have here, Torsten. <laughs> no, wrong. Marco wrote that would work. Uh, okay, we should change this. Contacts oh. Italo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Italo. So we make we we will change this design. This is this is far too big here. Yeah. Um, and you have uh, you have also a comment field. What we have. Uh, What's new? This is new one. Uh, we want to know if you're full age, uh, just because there are some GDPR rules, especially for minors. Uh, so uh, if you are not a full age, your name will not be shown on the list of the members in the, in, on the web page in public. And the other aspect is um, if you're not full age, following the legislation of your country, uh, you are not able to run for uh, to be a member of one of the bodies of the TDF because if you if you if you uh, get uh, get um, into the board of directors there are some legal liabilities which you are not able to fulfill if you are not full age uh, at least you would have a written permission by your parents and all those stuff we want to avoid in this case it's much easier for us um... We don't have to ask again um, if you yeah. want to run. Yeah. So we ask it here. So then we now can submit this. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Yeah. And next time, next time this person comes on this page, his name and his uh, age and everything, uh, even even his even his, his contact persons will be pre-filled, and so it's really easy to much easier than yeah. By now to reapply so uh what's about how we are in time some do we have some time oh yes we have <laughs> so uh i have a second i have a second one from uh oops this will be the piece of work where we're working with um so this is this is just uh, this is basically the design the back end for, for yeah. members to accept or deny the applications you know uh, yeah so please of all you so we need all uh, all, you, all you 
Yeah. So we, we, we see here Torsten, which I just, just added by the application form. And uh, we see here he's pending and it's not voted on. So this is the start of the process. And uh, now each member of the, of the uh, membership committee who Sorry. works with this can now do a vote. And uh, this, this would be Grant. here. All most eight, um, emails will be automated mm -hmm. and we don't have yeah. to do the manual stuff. Yeah, you see, you see, this is the details of the of the application of Torsten, which is uh, which is uh, surely surely able to get it more compact on the page. And you see, we have also a second button which was just missing on the web page. If uh, we ask, we will ask you if you are more than thirteen years old, but we will only ask this if you say you are not full age. <laughs> so we didn't see that. Uh, we 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 want to know if people, or let's say other way around, um, the TDF won't accept members which are below 13 years of age, because this has a lot of legal implications in Germany, and we don't we we want to avoid that. <laughs> um, and I think it's quite fair. You can't you 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 must also be 13 or older to get a Facebook account. So I think that's okay. <laughs> So that's uh, that's for for the first. This is just a mock-up, as you as you could prefer, because the user yeah, interface is the last thing which was yeah. which is built. The functions the functions are before that, and so this is this is the last one Marco will build. So uh, okay, I'll I'll close that again, and go back. Oops. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, we have seen the draft. So, so what for you and your concerns? If you don't have one, get a single sign-on account. You may get every information on this on this wiki page. There is described how to get the account and what it's worth of and everything. But I think most most of most of us have one. So. Yeah. so for the timeline, we hope we can start, the tool. start next year with the tool yes. for the for the first quarter of the next year, starting with March. Maybe we may use some functions of it. I, we haven't we haven't yeah. talked about a dashboard. Uh, maybe we may start that before, but we don't know exactly. And we still. Uh, I'm not sure if we can migrate the data from Garrett um, easily, um, and we might might use it for looking up for old stuff um, for a year. Yeah. yeah for the... so, so just for the tender process, just just for. Those who are interested, we we had a tender. We had all, overall six yeah. uh, six uh, enterprises or persons running for this tender from all the world. From all of the world, one was from India, one from Indonesia, another one from Germany, Germany Düsseldorf, uh, Italy. Marco comes from Italy, yes. Northern Italy, and we had uh, we had a wide wide scope. Uh, the Düsseldorf company wants about fifty thousand euros. <laughs> To build this uh, this thing, it was too much. This is this is far too much, and we had we had just we hadn't pre-seen that, and and but uh, okay. Yeah. So uh, at the end, uh, Marco Marinelli won, and uh, we, really yeah, it's really really good, and it, it was it was uh, especially pleasing me because he's also a community member, and uh, we we some. Some we got some offers uh, written down in docx format, so uh, you may you may uh, you may think about what these uh, these people thought on it. So, so it's at, it's to you if you're not become a member. Exactly. At uh, least in this room, everybody's a member. 
Yeah, yeah. Yes, you are. And if you don't know why, uh, the next board of directors gets elected in a few weeks, and so. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> if you want. So hurry up! Person, um... Hurry up! You have still still about one week for to to apply to to come into right at time to be part of these elections. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Dennis and Uwe. And we actually have a question from Marco himself. And he's saying, show us what happens on the application page if you choose no on is full age. Okay, we may try. Um, you see, this is the 13 years and older. I didn't try that before, but I, I had enough confidence in our developers. <laughs> yeah. Interesting question. Is there a country where uh, 13 years is um, full age? No. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. But yeah, okay. that seems to work. That was it, or? Uh, yes, we don't have any. Or actually, Marco just said, also try no there on over 13. There is a really small test who says uh, <laughs> PDF cannot accept applications from persons younger than 13 and the, uh, the commit button disappears. Magical. Okay, so yeah. this turned into a really live <laughs> testing session between the contractors. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We yep. just got the mail yeah, yeah, yeah. an hour ago or something like that. But yeah, half half an hour, oh, an hour ago it yeah. was it was just ready. Before that we had just a screen mock up. So they did the really, really hard work and, and quick work to, to get it working for the presentation. Thanks for that. Thanks, Marco. Yeah. All right <laughs> for Marco then. <laughs> uh, so here you can put in home. No. Okay. Any more Some questions? more questions are ah, here. Ah, Google uh, Mata, we, are, we, are in the, we are in picture. Yes, yes, yes. Picture, picture. Uh, I'm not seeing any more questions in the chat room. So, yeah, thanks a lot. And we'll wait some minutes for Gabriela's video to play. Okay. Bye bye.